Hi everyone, it's Diana and Sam from Toronto Platinum Realty Team and today we're going to talk about five things to consider in the Toronto real estate market. So, you know, Toronto's a great city. Um, there are, there's just been a few select reasons why it's why one it's of the, the top cities. One of the, why, one of the best cities. So, for one, it's it's livability. So Toronto reaps great livability offerings throughout the downtown core, such as access to transit. Um, we have multiple green spaces, lots of bike lanes. Um, we're known as you know a, a great foodie restaurant. Our bar. subways can definitely improve, and uh, hopefully they're working on that. They're working on it. You know, it's a slow game, but they're working on it. Right. And when it comes to living downtown, there are plenty of schools and parks, shops, and um, they're all kind of short walkway, and you can do all of this without a car. You don't really need a car if you're living in the downtown. So the next thing that number two is that it's competitive. Our our uh, real estate, Toronto real estate market, as many of you may know, is cutthroat. Uh, it's in a seller's market. You you can't even and think about uh, you know the house for more than a second you just uh, you're competing with mo- we've seen as many as 30 40 even 60 offers and even in a, it's it's crazy that even in a buyer's market or it's more stable mar- stable market uh, where you don't see this in a lot of other cities and markets in Toronto you still see in certain different pockets yeah. or communities there is still bidding war so right now it's slowed down maybe on the luxury side but even on the luxury side, there's parts of the city where it's supply and demand. It's, it's low supply and a high demand. There's still you that, just can't that stop. Work. You can't stop Toronto, right? Yeah, you can. And uh, another great reason is um, the city's allowing laneway uh, housing. So this is fairly new. Um, in 2018, they introduced laneway homes, providing another option for living. Right. And since these homes are fairly new, you could be in for a fresh, more modern space. And on the other hand, consider purchasing a home that includes laneway garage. So you can transform it into a laneway home in the future and maybe some added income, right? right? Well, and the fourth thing is rental prices. So rent prices in Toronto, whether for uh, single family, like uh, residential, condos, it's all, uh, it continues to increase year over year. Uh, we've had the craziest, uh, we had in 2013 a th- 35% increase, and then uh, year over year it's been continuing. So, uh, and it's not going to stop, you know, with the, with the amount of immigrants we have coming into Canada and most of them into uh, Ontario and Toronto specifically it's going to continue to increase so that's another great thing that it may be good it's it's a good thing an investor a buyer are looking looking to buy a house and if you're renting you know you should definitely think about getting yourself into owning a property or an investment property at some yeah. point and so last but not least you know what's toronto best known for is it's vibrant culture so right. You know, Toronto has one of the most diverse cities in the world, um, boasting from 200 ethnic groups and uh, over 140 different languages. And Toronto's music, art, sports scene, you know, Raptors. Raptors. Uh, and we actually got to see how, how diverse the city was with the winning of the championship of Raptors, right? Right. Um, Even though yes, Ka- Kawhi Leonard <laughs> left, don't worry, we still got we, the, one of the best cities in all of uh, all of the world. And we still might win the next one. And we're still <laughs> the champs. Yeah. So we the champ. <laughs> all right. So thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, these uh, videos. If you are subscribed to our channel and make sure you turn on your notifications. Thank Thank you. you.